Yo, it's Lamont. Thanks for tuning in to reality. I'm feeling inspired to make a video, so I gotta take advantage of it. But, uh, probably has something to do with the fact that, uh, I've been eating so much pasta lately, because I realize, you know, you can uh, make a fuck ton of pasta, have like food for four days pretty much, and have like full meals off of it for so cheap. So I've been eating a fuck ton of pasta, and I don't know, something about this last batch of pasta I made, it was a cheese sauce, I think it was a little too cheesy or something, but uh, it was just kind of fucking up my stomach, you know? Like so much so that I was like, dude, I don't even, I still have a brick left over in the freezer. So much, it made my stomach so upset that it's like, I don't even want to fucking eat it, bro. <laughs> Which is sad, because now I feel like, you know, I'm probably not going to eat it, honestly. It's going to be wasted. But, you know, I made it. Everything is good. Fresh quality ingredients. Like, there's no reason for it to be fucking up my stomach. But I think I realized it was the amount of carbs and shit I was eating, bro. Because my whole thing is to try to stay away from, like, processed foods and, and whatnot, you know? And then I was, like, just kind of thinking about it. And I'm like, damn, pasta is, like, processed as fuck. You know, like, the only things that aren't processed are fucking, like, vegetables and meat, basically. So, I don't know. I was just like, dude, I need to stop eating so many carbs. So, last night, I decided to make, like, a big salad and just have steak and salad. Like, a big old steak and a big old salad. And, uh, I was joking around with my friend and I was like, dude, I could eat, like, five ribeye steaks, like, type shit, you know? And first of all, cap, cap. Because last night, you know, I tried to eat one whole ribeye steak and I couldn't even finish it all. So, I don't know, there's this feeling that I look for when I like eat pasta, it's like, it's like this just like I'm full, dude, like, ugh, you know? And that's what was fucking me up. It was too much, like, I was like bloated and like inflamed and like, I don't know, I just felt bloated and shit. And I always realize, like, whenever I eat, like, a grilled chicken Caesar salad or something, like, dude, I feel like a million bucks after. Like, I could go run, like, five miles right after eating one of those salads. I got none of that bloating, none of that, ugh, full feeling, you know? I just feel energized. So that's what I kind of wanted to experiment with last night. Got a big old salad, it's got tuna and vegetables all in it and stuff so it's already like a protein filling salad and I paired that with the steak and I ate all that shit bro I didn't finish the steak quite but uh I, I, I ate all the salad all that stuff and uh I never got to the point where I was like oh I'm so full I never got that feeling I just felt good after you know and that translated into uh today because I was really skeptical y'all like I burn so many calories at work like I need calories I'm out here walking seven eight miles a day in the fucking hundred degree weather like I need the calories that's what I always kind of thought so I was like really kind of skeptical to like have no carbs last night and then come to work and see how I feel but I came to work today bro and holy shit because so I kept the, the no carb thing this morning too I just had steak and eggs this morning dude I am on one today, bro. Like, you know, it's 100 degrees out, whatever, but I'm just able to push through it. Like, I got so much energy, and uh, it's crazy. I think I was just eating too much bread and stuff before, too much bread, pasta, and yeah, I think it was just making me feel real inflamed. I think this is really gonna help out with the gym, too, because one of my problems in the gym is like, one of my problems in the gym is like, I need food to fuel myself, you know? Like I need a lot of food to make sure I have energy so I eat before I go to the gym. But every time I go to the gym, I feel hella fucking full, bloated and gassy, you know? So every time I fucking try to do pull-ups and shit, I'm like burping and feel like I'm gonna throw up, literally. <laughs> and uh, I think that's because usually for the past like four months what I ate before the gym is like 
protein pancakes, sandwich, all this carb-filled stuff, you know what I mean? So I'm starting to think if I maybe cut down on that a little bit, I might even be able to have way more energy in the gym. I'm actually astounded by how different I feel by not having any carbs. I'm also one to be very like, I guess in tune you could say, with how my body feels. Like someone gave me a Baja Blast earlier and I haven't drinking a soda in like a month. Dude, oh my god, my stomach hurt for like 40 minutes after drinking that shit. I knew I shouldn't have. So I'm always like thinking about how certain foods and whatnot make me feel. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to make a big difference in the gym to have not that inflamed, full feeling. And so uh, that's been good. I'm kind of looking forward to trying to figure out how to have less carbs in my diet. Because now... Like for dinner, I mean, a typical meal could include rice, pasta, potatoes I still think are fine. I'm talking about like processed carbs, like rice is fine too for me. Like burger buns and bread and pasta, shit like that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to learn how to make meals without that shit. So I'm probably thinking, gonna have to up my salad game for sure. Cause I know how to make two salads right now that are fire and uh, so I'm gonna need to up my salad game and definitely I'm gonna have to get into the the bean salads bro the bean salads is what I need in my life because first of all they're delicious and second of all so satiating and protein filled and all the amino acids so yeah I think a lot of salads bean salads with meat and fish and all that shit I try to cut out all the carbs not cut out because I'm not like one to be like I'm never eating carbs again I'm, I'm not going on a diet like if I'm going out with someone or whatnot I'm eating whatever the fuck I want or if someone offers me food like I'll eat it unless it's fast food then I won't but like you know what I mean so like when I'm making dinner at home I'm definitely going to try to um, do less carbs because it's really been uh, helpful even today for lunch I did bring a PB&J because uh, I just don't know what else to make for lunch right now. So I need to step up my, I need to step up my whole game right now, my breakfast game and my lunch game. And my dinner game, I'm starting to get on lock, but I know the path I need. But the lunch and breakfast game, I definitely need to change up because I don't know what to bring to fucking lunch. Amazon gives a bunch of free snacks, which is cool, but half of them are really bad for you anyway. So I kind of rely on the trail mix and nuts and stuff like that that they give me. So, like, right now I just got fucking PB&J and two hard-boiled eggs and a bunch of snacks. Like, that's not a good lunch, bro. I'm only eating this shit. A plain hard-boiled egg. I'm only eating this shit because, like, I'm hungry as fuck. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to definitely step up my lunch game. Because this is unacceptable. PB&J and plain eggs. Get the fuck out of here. But, uh... Yeah. Less carbs, hopefully. Peace.